Hello, hello, my beautiful chosen family. I hope all is well with you. In today's video, I want to give you all three ways, okay, that God warns you before just utter chaos happens, okay? And I say this about the fake friends, the disgusting lovers, family members, so forth. But for me personally, this I'm putting the mask as the face. I'm sorry, I'm putting the face to um, fake friends, you know, the, the snakes. How to pick up signs before it just becomes obvious. Because for the longest time, um, I, I didn't really use discernment as much. I kept giving people the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. Yeah, no. Chosen ones, you are your own individual person. And no matter what I say on this camera or anybody else tells you face to face, you are going to do what you want to do. Okay? Totally fine. We all make our own decisions and choices. But I say this to you because sometimes it is good to hear from another person who's already gone through something similar. And they can let you know, hey, I've already been down this road and it's not pretty. Okay, so with these three things I'm going to give you all, it is still up to you at the, end, at the end of the day to go by what you wish. But I I really hope that you do take my advice as well as other people that can help. Okay, other chosen ones. So we're going to jump right into this. The number one sign, at least from what I've been through my point of view, um, most of the time, the snakes in the grass, they are, they, they, they become very weird, okay? Weird has its own definition, okay? Weird, is, weird can show up differently for people. But for the most part, we know about weird vibes. And it's so funny because before I got into spirituality, really, I would laugh. When I was very deep into religion, I would laugh at people who would talk about good vibes, bad vibes. And I'm like, what's wrong with you people? Like, what are you talking about, you know? But now, <laughs> you know, the same way is when you know, you know. Yeah, I know now. I, I get it 100% completely now. Because people who are, um, they're on low vibrations, low frequencies, because they cannot, they're, they're, they're not high vibrational people, high, high vibrational spirits, okay? They cannot hide their disdain for you after a while. After a while, it will seep through. No matter how much they try to like fit that mask on to act smiley and bubbly and positive around you, even though in their mind they cannot stand you, they cannot wait to put the knife in your back. You know, they cannot wait to try to like um, trip you up or, or see your downfall. You know, whatever is going through their sick minds. Um, after a while, the it the, the little fake mask it will start to crumble. Okay, it will start to break apart because it's fake. It's not real, and when something isn't real, it doesn't last. All right, so they're going to start giving you weird vibes. They're going to start just you. You'll notice you you'll notice those shifts. Like um, a lot of you are new here. Welcome. Um, <laughs> I had a I had an old friend. Like it it, it it's it's so. It's so terrible. It's so sad how these people turn on you and you've known them sometimes for years. Okay. I knew this particular woman. Um, never really met her in person before. We, we we met online and we stayed in contact. You know, she she saw me even before I was pregnant uh with my first child. And she um she pretended to like me. And maybe at one point it was genuine, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to say from the very beginning. Some of them it is, but some of them they do start out genuine and then again because their own insecurities, because of their own um again, I don't, I don't think I can't say their own insecurities and jealousies. They they still end up turning into that Decepticon, that snake, that frenemy because they can't handle your light. And so with this with this particular individual, she she was that she was that way. And she could not, she could not maintain her fakeness with me. I knew her for about eight, close to nine years now. Because that's how old my, old my oldest son is. He's nine. Um, you know, she, she, she just started to become weird with me out of, out of the blue. Like literally out of nowhere, she started to become weird with me. And um, 
you know, we both had YouTube goals. And, you know, when, 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 when one person starts to exceed or excel and the other person, they might not be reaching the, the, the goal like the other person. They start to compare, compete, you know, and that's where things went downhill. Okay, I'm going to get into that a little more in depth later. But, um, yeah, she started to become very weird. Um, started to, like, wanted to call me more, like, to try to take up more of my time. And then when I explained to her, hey, you know, I'm a mom. I, I have things going on in my household. I need to be able to do these things. It, it became a problem. So the call started to become less. She started to, to, to be very passive-aggressive. Oh, my gosh, passive-aggressive to the core. And just very, um, just nasty. She also did, but I'm going to go into number two as well. But I noticed off the back the weird vibes. When someone sends you those weird vibes, get out of there. When they start acting in ways that you cannot explain, get out of there. Now, yes, on one hand, you can just be direct and say, hey, what's going on, right? But the problem with that chosen ones is that most people, they don't know how to be real. Most people are cowards, okay? I'm going to just say it straight out. They're a coward. So when you go to them and you're asking them, hey, what's going on? They're not going to say, I'm jealous of you. I'm envious of you. I put myself in competition with you. I don't like that you shine so much. I don't like when you come around, I feel small. They're not going to tell you that. No. They're going to be like, oh, it's nothing. What are you talking about? Nothing. I'm good. You okay? You know, like, like, like they're going to downplay it and make it seem like you're crazy. You're not crazy. Okay, they're the crazy ones for thinking that they're going to get over on you. When God has equipped you with certain spiritual gifts like discernment, like being able to read people, see through people, being an empath. Okay, they, 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 they think this stuff is a joke. You energy never lies, baby. Yeah, that spirit that we all have, it gives off energy, frequency, and you're either going to vibe high up there on that scale or you're down low. But the weird vibes, no. And I'm sorry I stayed long on this on that particular one. But when you cannot explain it and they're not the ones coming to you to let you know it's a problem, an issue, something could be wrong, chunk up the deuces. Get out of there because after the weird vibes, it's only going to go downhill from there. I'm telling you. I know from experience. All right. Number two, when they start becoming very judgmental of you, right? When they start becoming judgmental of what you wear, your hair, how you do your hair, what you dress like, how you talk, uh, you know, just again, everything you do, there's a judgment about it. There, there's an opinion that you didn't ask for. You know, I got this also from that same individual as well as other people that turned on me. Became very judgmental. Oh, when did you start wearing crystals? Why are your nails this long? Why why did you dye your hair? I like I like colors. I like, you know, you guys are gonna see that. It's probably won't be the, the only color. I might do something else next. Does that take away from my spirit? Does that take away from the fact that God loves me? No, it does not. It even tells you that in the Bible. And this person was extremely religious. And it's funny how the extremely religious people who read the Bible, they don't walk by it. Barely. But they want to hold everyone else up to the standard. When you don't even read it and you don't even abide by it yourself, especially when behind closed doors. Come on now. But you want to openly judge me and critique me. For what? I didn't ask you your opinion of me. Therefore, it's not needed. I don't need you to tell me, hey, why would you put these lashes on? Why do you do your hair like this? Why? Because I want to. Like, what? <laughs> you know, I had this person... Well, why, why did you put out this video that day? You should have did this. You should have said that. When I'm like, when do you want like, to? No, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Thank you. Go judge someone else. Go judge yourself. Like Michael Jackson's song says, I'm going to start with the man in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror before you want to go judge someone else. But of course, they're, they're, they're going to do it. But now that just falls off my shoulder. Your opinions and your judgments of me mean nothing to me because you're not my creator. You're not God. You can do nothing for me. So your opinions of me mean nothing. And chosen ones, that's how you have to do it. Let it roll off, but see it as a red flag, especially when it starts coming out of nowhere. You know, how are you my friend, family member, lover, whatever. And then now you want to be all judgmental about what I'm doing, where I'm going, how I'm doing things, what I'm doing on my YouTube. Like, 
That's none of your business. And unless I ask you for your opinion, I don't need it. So watch out for the judgmental people as well. Okay? And for the third one, I have so many, but I'm just going to give you all three for right now. Because I can talk. Okay, I'll talk your head off. <laughs> The third one is being controlling, being super duper controlling. And, it, and it, it ties into being judgmental, but there's still, you know, there's still that difference. The same way they can be judgmental of you, they'll try to control you. Again, they're going to try to critique your hair, your nails, your dress, how you talk, what you do, both for male and female, just because man and woman, because they want to see if they can change you. They want to see if they judge your hair, if they can control you by saying, I don't like your hair like that. So if you're not strong minded, if you're weak minded, you'll be like, oh, well, what's wrong with my hair? You, you, you think I should wear it down more? Yeah, you should wear it down more. You should. And then you do it and you play right into their hand. They're laughing behind the scenes like they're, I can control them. They'll listen to me because I said they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do this. And I was like that for so long. Again, especially with this particular friend and other people who have turned on me have done similar things. But this particular person, she did all three. She had the weird vibes. She was judgmental and she was extremely trying to control me. And I had had enough. I don't care how long we've known each other. I am a grown woman and you are not going to control me. Chosen ones, look out for these. Okay. Oh no, you shouldn't do it that way. Do it this way. You know, why are you dressed like that? You should dress more like this way. Or, you know, be more modest, be more this way. And again, every, everybody has their own way they, they want to dress. Everyone has their own way of how they like to style. Everyone has their own way they talk and things. And that's okay because God still loves you. Okay? God still loves you. And if you want to make a person believe or think that God doesn't love them based off of what they're wearing or how they do their hair or how they talk or what they choose to do as a career, you are you are really sick in your head, okay? And the same finger you want to you want to do this to point and judge. You got those same. You got four more pointing back at you, okay? I literally mind my business and I love on people. God says you owe no man anything, nothing but to love him. And yet, it seems like it's the hardest thing for people to do out here, especially those who claim to love you. To be your friend, family, lover, etc. These are the main people that take the opportunity to hurt you. To bring you down. How is that a friend? How is that a family or lover? It's not. Okay? So watch out for those signs. No one has the right to be weird towards you. Just say it with your chest. Just speak up and say how you feel. No one has the right to judge you. Because again... Clean out your closet before you want to go and clean out somebody else's. And God tells you that. Take the take the beam, take the log out your own eye before you want to go take the plank out someone else's. Okay. And the third thing being controlling. You are grown. You are your own individual self. No one has the right to just come and try to try to control you and tell you what you should and should not be doing. Okay? No. Either you support me or you don't. And whether you support me or you don't, baby, I still have God. So I'm going to be okay. I don't need your approval. Okay. I would love it. The more support, the better, you know. But do I need it? Am I going to like cry and like, you know, cry myself to sleep and have nightmares because you don't support me? <laughs> Never. Never. And these frenemies, they were upset because of that. Okay. But these are the first three. I'm going to come back with a part two. And hey, we might have part three, four, five, depending on, you know, let me know how y'all feel about it. All right. And if you have some more suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below because somebody else could use it. But chosen ones, God will definitely send you the, the big signs, you know, the big red flags before the major boom happens. And to just let you all know before I close out. I was able to check off these three signs as well as other things with this individual particular person. And I cut her off before it, before the big boom happened. And the funny part is that I was right. I didn't, I didn't overthink when I cut her off or anything because I was right. She was a friend of me. She was a snake. She became jealous and envious and she could not handle my life. And God exposed her to me because I prayed to God. I said, God, I really love and care about this person. But if she's not meant to be in my life, expose her for the dark spirit that she is 
and show me. And God said, okay, no problem. Literally within that same month that I cut her off and we no longer had talk, she was talking bad about me on her own YouTube platform, saying things, just being disgusting towards me. And I guess she forgot that we both followed each other because it was so, such a long time ago. Again, I knew her for about eight years, so she probably thought I wasn't subscribed to her YouTube. Or maybe she did know and just wanted to do it purposely. Either way, I saw the message and how nasty and passive aggressive and subliminal she was towards me. And I said, God, thank you. Thank you for sending me these signs. Thank you for exposing her. Good riddance. And it hurt because when I love, I love hard, but I don't want snakes in my camp. I don't want enemies in my camp. So it, the cutoff might hurt, but baby, you better be safe than sorry. Because sometimes people could take that jealousy and insecurity up a notch to where they want to end your life. It's not worth it. All right. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm at 16 minutes. I'm going to let you all go. I will be back with more signs. All right. And just more topics in general. Because like I said, we're in this together. I love you so much, Chosen Family, all right? I really hope you all had a great day. And remember that God loves you so much more. Take care.